Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for December, well Thursday, December 9th. And uh, starting with the stock 50 here, what we've been looking for were the five waves to the downside here. Because we've got five waves here, that means after a correction on ABC pattern here, we should have another five down here. So from B to C here, we're still looking for one more little move here. We should be looking for five waves in this uh, area through here. So let's just cruise in and uh, break that uh, trend down somewhat. So um, we have B wave here with one and two and three and four and then moving up for five. Uh, this may have another little drop in here. There is space for it to drop. Um, let's just take that up to those highs there. And you'll see that the 38.2% retracement level is about there. So yeah it could just do a bit of a wobbly on the opening and, and do something like that so uh, just be a little bit mindful um, of something of that nature I won't go in and break all this down it doesn't uh, need to be done but I will have a look at um, the DAX next and the DAX is quite low here where the FTSE is way up here somewhere we'll get to that but just want to point that out before we start uh, once again we're looking at an impulse wave to the downside and because we've got five waves here that means after an ABC correction we should have another five down over here so that's what we're looking for at this stage if there's going to be a long trade here then this five waves here that we're looking at here and we'll, we can go into some detail here but from B to C here once we get those five waves anything above that and beyond that would mean that we're bullish at that point and then we would label this as wave one and back for wave two here and a third wave here so it's not until we get over here that we can do any of that on the hourly chart just to break B and C down somewhat uh, we've got B here we've got one and two here and one and two and three and four and five the third wave fourth wave that can pull down further and then move up into the 16,000 which would be uh, a nice target sort of area for all of that B wave there um, yeah so that's, uh, that's where we are I mean I was thinking you know can we have a top in here you know is that possible um i just can't see it fitting though that's all you know and i tried to look at it um it's possible i mean in in um in in this regard here we could probably look at this as an a b c d and e here and then put this b wave i'm just shooting the breeze here don't shoot me and then look at this as five waves up here and finished so uh, I think one of the ways just to be sure to be sure um, that if we take that distance to the top there and look at the 38.2% retracement level, we could really only turn bearish if the market found that level there, that 15,600 as the retested resistance and then it would look bearish at that point, wouldn't it? So I think that we just need to be uh, careful how we go. Uh, let me just check on Asia there. Asia's pretty steady, just looking at um, the Asian there because it can obviously lead into the um, <coughs> the European opening as such. And uh, on the tick chart, I, don't, I don't, don't think we even really need to go here as well, I don't think, but um, we'll go in and have a bit of a look because we were mulling around in here yesterday. So one and two and three and A and a B and a C wave here, but it can drop further here. I couldn't really get five waves here. I can get one, two, three, four, five to this point. Then I've got this thing. So it's a little bit weird finishing here. Uh, a little bit unsure about that. It could certainly get up there. Now this 15,750 uh, is really important. It's, <laughs> a, it's a long way, but um, it's halfway between two medium levels. So the medium level is 15,000 and then 16,500. I won't go into what makes them a medium level, but this 15,750 is the halfway mark between those. So we can see that it's a, it's important in this area. Normally we've got group two here, the 15,650, the 65, 72 and, and 80 here. But I think this makes a nice line in the sand here as well. So if you were looking to go long here uh, today, tonight, whatever, in the next session, then I think playing this out here as a, um, you know, as a little classic trading levels pattern here, looking for uh, support on top of that, there on top of get, getting that first high above the level of that 15,750 would be a way forward. Of course, you can refine that as well. 
So, um, yeah, I'd only play it up to the 15.9 or 15.9.20 or something of that nature and, and, then, um, and then move out from that point. Okay, and the FTSE, you can see how high the FTSE is here. It's kind of like in its own world, isn't it? So, um, and yet with those other two markets that we looked at, we were looking for a little bit of a pullback. Um, they may be done or dusted yet, I'm not quite sure. And then another little move up here, which is really going to, um, you know, create... Um, a different sort of scenario here I mean it could still be a B wave taking the top out there it could just be an expanded flat and that means that when it comes down here it would take it would just nip the low out there and then move off like that but there's a good chance um, also for the US markets that we could look at this as a bullish move but we're not ready for that because you know, even if you just look at the stochastics here it's you know it's in the later stages of this move to the upside and having that high there there's only going to be stalling uh, and short-term, um, you know, price action in, in terms of range of the market. So uh, be a little bit mindful um, of that. But, you know, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Um, so let's just, uh, where are we on one day here? We'll just cruise in and have a look. I can't recall what I've updated, not updated. But basically the same, an A and a B and a C wave. We could have a top in play. And that means that if I had to do that, that means that I need to put the B wave not sure where that came from. We could put the B wave over here. That would work as well. But, but then we'll have to put that there as well as an ABC for the A wave and a B wave. So it's doable, but uh, the DAX and all that really had that other little move to, to play out there. So we'll just keep honing in here for a moment or two. And uh, last time we spoke, I think we were looking for this top of wave three. The wave four can pull back to this horizontal line here. It does look like it wants to push off uh, um, at that at, at this stage here. So um, let's get a better grip on this. Let's go to the to the tick chart at this point. Um, One hundred ticks. Let's see if I've if I've updated it. I may not have updated it. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm not as lazy as I thought I was. I like to be lazy. I enjoy laziness. Um, so. Uh, an A and an A and a, oh, this is another way, this is, an, this is the other way that I did it, yeah, which it's, I mean, I could certainly go into a bigger bullish picture here, um, but even taking it from here that I was working with, uh, this is kind of interesting. So, um, wave one and two and one and two, and then I've had this up here as three and then four. We're looking for wave four. I'm putting wave four in the middle uh, here for this, and that would leave me one, two, three, four, five up here for that third wave. <clears throat> um, we're looking to get out between uh, in this group two here, 65, 72, and 80 between these two. So, well, that panned out all right, but the market didn't really go that way. It's also a little bit weird here as well because I could count... Oh, I suppose I could look at that as one and two here, and then all of this is the third wave down as one, two, three, four, and five for the third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave. But it, that doesn't even count very well as five waves. So it's a little bit weird, but um, yeah, I guess we can put this in uh, here. I should have put out the video earlier, but I had to do a financial services compliance meeting. Um, so, so it was a bit bit slow today but it certainly looks like it wants to um to, to move higher so anyway we've we've passed the, the the midpoint here um set up so now we're into group two here and even if this pushes up here then we'd look at this as wave one we could probably just map this out a bit better for us here to nice strong third wave there there might be a bit more legging in there for that and then up here it'll be something like that so you could only get to seven four so there's there's a not there's not a lot in here and uh we'll just need to be careful about this um this here as well i mean the wave four might get a bit uglier as well that's why the good thing about trend lines you can continue to use them uh somewhat so that will 
you know now we're on this side of the trend line you know you know what i mean so on this side we're bullish on this side you'll need to be careful and also too this wave four may not be completed as well that's the other little irony in here this all might just be a b wave up here and then the c wave coming down here and then heading up at that point so yeah i mean if i had to go along here i'd probably want to be sitting on the 72 because that's really all the problem's going to be and when they get up to the 72 then you'd also be looking for a setup in there so if i just use this one here so that's the uh first high above the 72 here and that's the second one here so you just take it on that one of course you'd have that one there but you could do that one so you'd want something like that and then you would want the market to uh you know to push up from wherever it's going to push up from at that point you know so a classic trading levels pattern on the 72 otherwise um, it might just uh, continue to drop down if this was going to drop down as a wave four here then we could just look at that um, in that regard there as well that would go to there and then there but it still need to take you know if it was going to move up through here then it needs to take that top out so there's still plenty to um, go in there so I'll just leave it at that um, but I think it's probably worth um, just recapping a little bit on the DAX. So this wave four hasn't really started. Uh, yeah, this is not a really nice um, uh, ABC here. It looks nice and it's possibly fitting in, but it's just there's something a little bit weird about it. So um just to recap this if the 15 15,750 finds support then you could move in at that point this and you could also look to add at 15.8 as well adding another position on 15.8 and the target wouldn't be too much higher up you'd need to like um focus on the 15.9 you might be able to squeeze 15 uh 20 out of it it may well normally would look at group one at 9 30 so when it gets to nine here that's when it struggles that's where you should take your money and then 10 it could get to 10 20 and 30 as the first high above the level but um yeah taking taking it um there just talking about day trade you know intraday traders at this point so so we can leave that there. And on the downside, we can't really go short here until we're below the 38.2% um, retracement level. So we'd need to see, to go short, we'd need to see this level here, the 15,600 15, um, as the retested resistance. So you need that first low below the level uh, there. And then once that's there, then you just wait. Because a lot of the times it just goes straight back up again and it keeps you safe you know but if you put your order there and then the market drops from that point then um you know you you've done everything at the right right time right place and also too if you're looking at the um if you're a bit of a volumes person then um the volume should be lower on the retest and exceeding down here increasing volume to this point diminishing volume to that point there because the volume will help confirm the price action and sometimes you get a better picture than that too of course so when that comes down here you may get something like this you know so then you can use that one here to go under which will be the b wave and if you want to go further because you can see the volume then you can just draw a line through there and and then when you're doing trend lines like this through here um, you know it's the same same story um, it'll come down bounce off it come through come back and check it and then go down be a little bit careful you can always sometimes you get a second retest there and it can take out your stop if you got your stop there so you need to go a little bit further away with your stop just in case um, alrighty I'm going to leave it all at that thanks for tuning in cheers <music>